All right, everybody, welcome along to the start of my Let's Play of Evoland. And uh, we're going to kick it off with Evoland 1. Both 1 and 2 were kindly donated to me a long time ago from Conclan. And um, just never sort of really got around to playing the games. And they're really interesting. I have um, i don't know a lot about them, but they kind of take inspiration from a lot of other games. And as we progress through the games, things evolve. Um, hence the name sort of like Evoland. It's like Evolution Land as the game progresses. Um, don't be alarmed by what you see straight away. Um, we'll see some like things that make it look like we're playing on a Game Boy at times, but as we progress, things will change and things will adapt and uh, the whole environment and everything will um, get a lot better. That's my understanding. Anyway, anyway, we're going to jump right in here. We're going to start a new game of Evo Land 1. And uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we are basically unlocking abilities as we go here. So at the minute we can only like move up, down, left and right. Uh, it's one complete word, but it's a longer one. Okay, four chapters, okay. You got basic strolling. You want to see where this is heading, right? So this is kind of like very reminiscent of sort of like Legend of Zelda on the oh, no, I this. That's all like Legend of Zelda on the Game Boy. I remember it was like my first Zelda game on the Game Boy. We got sound effects. The game is much more alive this way. As you can probably tell, yeah, it's um starts off basic. We got smoother scrolling. This will save you some headache. Oh look at that look. All right, so now we've got to work out how we're going to get that other chest. I don't actually mind like the the weird scrolling though. To be fair, you got a score, a scored a sword. Now you can kill evil monsters and cut down bushes. All right, and now we got monsters. So we've got to be careful not to touch those. But we still have no way to get through to here unless we can go back maybe and we'll go down here yeah there we go that seems to be the path and we got the octorak a new card to play double twin so it looks like there's a card game here which is probably taking inspiration from some of the final fantasy games Um, there's some more bushes this way. Let's go and investigate. You got a star. Collect all the hidden stars of Evo Land. All right, so the minute's just a bit of a gentle introduction to the game here. Just uh, like to explore. So we'll go. Uh, have I crashed the game? I think we crashed the game, boys. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't panic over. Panic over. All right, so there's nothing else that way at the minute that we can go. So let's head over this way and see if we can't defeat ourselves a monster or two. Hey, we defeated some monsters. We have no health or anything at the minute. So we've got music, Eva Lantune, top in the charts since 2012. And we've got save points and evolution that changed gaming forever. So it's, it's kind of weird, really. Like it's it's going through like the, it goes through like the evolution of like computer games and how they've changed over time, which is um, pretty cool. It's a pretty cool idea. A star, another hidden star, and we got the card bat for the card game. However, we play the card game. I guess it will come at a later point. That save spot though is very reminiscent of the um, I think it's the Legend uh, Secret Mana save spots from the SNES. Yay! We got color display, 16-bit colors. Huzzah! We win. 
we don't win, but things are improving. Are we going to... Uh... Game over? What? We dead already? Man. I forgot how brutal old games were. Old games were pretty brutal back in the day. I did it save with these chests. Should have done. It sure did. Excellent. Looks over there like it doesn't save monsters that we kill. So just gotta be wary of that, I guess. They could uh, give some grief. Game saved. You are safe. A short story of adventure, video games, evolution. After centuries of peace and ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evolandia, you are one of few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. Those centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a lot, whole lot of to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. <laughs> All right, so we got the backstory. This game, this game are getting good. Another hidden star. What stars are for? I wonder. We don't even have like uh, an inventory or anything at the moment, so I guess we'll unlock that at some point. Hey, we upgraded to two fifty-six colors. Maybe soon we'll get three D. Look, look, sign panel. Look, it seems your your hero knows how to read these signs. This path is reserved for agile adventures. Adventurers, sorry. This is like very reminiscent of like how, like the the one hit difficulty is very reminiscent of like the original Legend of Zelda, which I'm currently trying to like play through that on my son's Switch on the Nintendo classics and it's just it's brutal it's absolutely brutal it's really hard like old school games are really hard that's been blocked by the dimensional stone try the path to the east looks like it's time for some action adventure we've got free movement oh we can now do 360 degree movement we're not just um, confined to four axes now so that's pretty cool This game are evolving. I should probably save. I actually remember though where we have got to another one of these dimensional stones here. Yeah, they are very unforgiving, Mika, definitely. Okay, so we've been over here. I remember. I remember coming to here. Did we miss anything down here? I wonder. Doesn't appear so. The original Legend of Zelda, you're just literally thrown in at the deep end. There's no explanation about anything. Which kind of, I kind of look like Talos Saves Point a little bit, I guess, yeah. They kind of do. But, like, old school games, especially in NES ones, like, I kind of like the, the, the difficulty of them. Because I do feel like sometimes in, like, modern day, um... There is a bit, bit too much hand holding. Yeah, I knew that was going to come to life. 
probably shouldn't have. Uh... There is a lot of hand holding in games a lot of the time. In that it will always like tell you what to do and where to go and different bits and pieces, so. I not like take these guys out. Oh, okay, I need to just not have them coming straight onto me, I guess. Nope, stay away, no, stay away. Oh, so I can take these guys out. You got the inventory! Finally. Uh, so I've got sword, bombs, and bows. We've got two out of 23 cards, and we've got three out of 30 stars. We've got 10% of the stars already. You got path unlocked. Kindle of the Monsters will sometimes help you in your quest. Fantastic. Explore the world is always nice, but beware of random encounters. All right, so this is more sort of Final Fantasy now. Got like a world map. My wife is just like bombarding me with messages right now. We have a turn-based battle system. Let's change to a different style of fighting. Alright, so that's more Final Fantasy. Turn-based battling. Uh, let's attack. You've won 50 glees instead of gills. <laughs> Final Fantasy's current system is using uh, uses gill, so quite funny to see that. Uh, we've got slimes. We can run away, but I don't think we need to run away just yet. We've got 100 glees. We've got mode 7. It looked really gorgeous when it was introduced back in 1990. Place names. You will learn the names of places you travel to. So this is the meadow. This is yeah. I think over time, I think, I don't know, I think maybe because, like, I grew up in an era of, like, harder games, like, the way NES games, like Nintendo games used to be and, and like the old consoles used to be like really difficult. I think because I grew up in that age, I kind of see games that, I, I think just think generally games are too easy these days. It's like you could be playing a game, you could be like, you could be like taking your time to explore things and you know, the game will be like constantly, there'll be like a character in the background that is constantly kind of like telling you, like, oh, you should go here or you should do this or telling you what to do rather than you actually like working out what you need to do. You got village. Why do village always have such annoying music? It's going crazy. Hey, Dan, buddy. Welcome, welcome. I don't think villages have annoying music. Villages have nice calming music a lot of the time. It's nice to have a break in an RPG. You got an NPC. At last, someone talk, talk to or not. Sorry, I didn't speak to children. He's like massive. He's massive in comparison to me. Oh, I don't have the ability to go into houses or anything yet, so I guess we're not going to do that. You good? Good to hear. Does nobody speak to children? That's not particularly helpful. Adults are not funny. They always complain about us children. If I, only I could eat the growth seed, I would no longer be a child. The seed I found has fallen down the wall. The well. I'm too scared to get it back. It's too dark down there. Alright, so maybe we need to go down the well. Thanks for the good luck. No worries, crazy. Don't worry about it. So where is the well, I wonder? We can now enter people's houses. I'd save. 
how to save the world with hero Chris heroes crystals by somebody I don't think I'll need this mean fight been like a very fun read a lot of RPGs have good soundtracks Minka if um you got innkeeper nice bed is waiting for you at a decent price the legend of Kefka's ghost by village people local tales I guess Kefka was and a potion. I think Kefka was the dude from the the main um, enemy in Final Fantasy VI, actually. Did I crazy? You look tired. What about resting in a cozy inn? It'll cost you ten ten glees. Sure, why not? I'll rest. Yeah. Yeah. So Final Fantasy is like. Even the old, old Final Fantasies, Mika, they have fantastic soundtracks. Oh, where is the well, then? All your chests are belong to us. Lost in translation, I guess. That's a reference to that old game, which translated to all your base are belong to us. All right, we've got Shopkeeper. National Sword Association does not allow me to, as to sell weapons to children yet. Alright, so it looks like I've got to like grow up into an adult, I think. Oh, thanks. Children should be in bed. You're not a nice boy. The evil Kefka's ghost will come and eat you. Nice. Door is locked. Maybe there's something in here. Quite possibly. I know there's the well. I just want to check out this other house here. We got the card Torque. New card to play double twin. Medium is is the mess the medium is the massage. Very fitting. Ultimate guide to everything. What a genius. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the names because my pronunciations are just awful. So a potion. Alright, let's see if we can do anything with the well then, I guess. I don't think there's any more houses, was there? No, there was not. So if we go up to here. Uh, sure, let's go. You got the secret place. So we're looking for the grove seed, I guess. We got the worm. I dare say this is going to be like boss fight territory. There's the grove seed. You got grow taller. What's of all the kids in the video games anyway? Or maybe that was tough. I heard a lot of strange sounds coming out of the North Caves. The girl has visited earlier. Is she a friend of yours? I don't know. I don't believe so. At least the adults will talk to me now though. That's uh, something. Crystal Caves to the North is a dangerous place. It says Kefka's ghost lives in there. But no adventurer has ever come back to tell us. Quite strong monsters in the caves ahead. We won't let you pass with your current equipment. Alright, so i got to go back to the shop then, I guess, and buy some equipment now that I'm an adult and I'm allowed to buy equipment. Um, welcome to Papun Papunika Village. Please enjoy your stay with us. He still talks to me like I'm a child, so... All right, let's go into the shop. Uh, what do we need? It's a red card there for 500. We'll come back for that. Um, all right, let's see if we can sell something, I guess. Oh, there's 50 gills. Glees. Sorry, I need to stop calling it gills. Not gill. It's glees. Has been increased. 
guess it just automatically... So can I sell? Three potions, so... How to cook an emok by KFC. Yummy. I didn't see that one before. Maybe I can see other things now that I'm a little bit taller in these buildings. With another quick rummage around, I guess. Doesn't look like there's anything though. Could buy the sword if I sold my potions. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to sell my potions, unfortunately. It's not very good. What happened to my sword though? Because I did have a sword. And they just sort of disappeared, right? You are now ready to fight stronger monsters. Alright, so hopefully that'll let me go. It's almost like it gives you like the perfect amount of money, I guess, to sleep at the shop buy the armor and buy the uh, sword which is real clever just have to like look around for the stuff first you have a monster on your way to the caves boss fight someone is calling for help I heard someone calling for help looks like she got attacked by these monsters quite interesting seeing this because um, I've been sort of like looking at a bit of game development in my own time and um, this is the sort of I was like looking at doing an RPG <clears throat> and this is the sort of way I was like planning things out so it's quite interesting to see like that this game is doing it um, yeah I think sacrifice the potion was the only way to get out of that Mika to be fair thank you for saving me from these monsters I need the crystal in the cave to save my hometown. Will you help me? I don't have an option, so sure. By the way, my name is... Karis. It's all right. All right, so let's go to the cave and we'll sing the song for this soundtrack that's pretty darn epic I don't think there's any like leveling up though in this so not sure that um, you know walking around purposely looking for fights is going to do us any good other than to raise up some gill and yes, I did call it Gil. I'm going to continue to call it Gil. She has magic. She's got a heal spell. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know. The Crystal Caves. We need to find the crystal. Its power can change your perception of the world. And with it, you can fight the evil that threatens my village. By the way, I just noticed that I forgot to ask your name. Uh, my name is Clink. You got a name. The girl finally noticing you're a natural human being. A winner is me. Cave monsters. Uh oh, it looks like this cave is in inhabited. Inhabited? Yeah, inhabited. Don't know why I had such a hard time with that. Oh, she missed. Oh right, well, the monsters aren't looking. Too dangerous, but we've got random encounters, it looks like. And a potion. Doesn't look like uh, Karis can um, hit these guys. So. But not to worry too much, they're not, uh, not too 
deadly at this point. So we'll just carry on investigating, making sure we pick up everything as we go along. Big girl now. Ooh, okay, I gotta go around. Can't access that one from there. You got experience points, then you can get XP and level up while fighting. Okay, so there is experience. Take back what I just said a moment ago. Runs running Glees and 4 XP. We got a star. Link has reached level 2, his attack has increased. Karis has reached level 2 and his defense has increased. Alright, so Karis is cl clearly a um, like a white mage. The fact that it offered me a save point there makes me think there is a boss coming up at some point soon. Cobra Zero. no way to like switch okay he was just unlucky i guess missing i just wondered if there was like a way to switch party members the skaven card something happened somewhere but where <laughs> i just love these like sarcastic takes on like old RPGs, it's great. Let's look over here. <laughs> Classic Death Wish. I guess we're going the wrong way. I guess we need to go like back up to the top, I guess. We're now level three with our characters. <laughs> yeah. Something happened somewhere. Almost like a do the thing with the thing. Epic. Man, we've well, got some serious uh, money now, look. Oh, so I'm guessing this unlocks something up here then. You woke up the Guardian of the Crystal, oh dear. Tefka's ghost. This one looks powerful. He was the Crystal's guardian for many centuries, but it looks like it's been corrupted by some evil power. Most likely the same evil has attacked my hometown. Let's get the crystal we need to, to get let's get the crystal we need its power to fight. Sounds like a plan. You got boss Annie. Animation, I think. He looks much more dangerous now. <laughs> 
And he hits big as well. Oh, he's changed form? Changed... Oh. That's not good. I guess we've got to wait. It's almost a bit like Guard Scorpion in the um, original Final Fantasy VII. You know, it has a phase where you actually have to wait your attack. And if you attack, he counters and hurts you. You always got to be careful like those sorts of things in RPGs, like these ones. you got to kind of... you got to be careful not to like button mash too much. If you button mash, you can certainly get like caught off between like caught out with enemy um, like status changes like that. Level 4, his life has increased. Her life has increased. Crystal power has been activated. Oh my goodness, you got 3D mode. You got a whole third dimension. We've got 16 bit music. You're not gonna be killed in one shot. We got life hearts. Excellent. I think we've like gone completely back though to. We're no longer in like turn based mode, we're in completely different. We're like back in like Legend of Zelda territory now. Man, this game is confusing. <laughs> Uh, and we'd be like back at the beginning. Didn't we do all this before? We got the Zumba card. If I'm completely honest, though, I think I actually prefer the previous. Um, I prefer like the SNES sort of looking 2D graphics, if I'm honest. that and the uh, the 8-bit music. The 16-bit music for me is not um, not as jamming as the uh, other music. Pakun! Look at the Pakun card. It's, like, it's got like a third of the cards already. I know Evil Land 1 is not a particularly long game from what I've, well, from what I've heard and what I've been told. It's not a particularly long game, so it may only take us a couple of streams to complete. got pixelated textures looks more like a real world now yeah these are slightly better almost looks like it's minecraft now achievement for cropping all the bushes jeez i'm dedicated me but that would be jeez that would be a lot of work <laughs> I got patience, but I don't know, I've got that much patience. I've already been this way. Yeah, that's where we started from. Let's say. We're doing a big circle. You got the dimensional stone. Was it always that small? 
you're back to the early game. Access has been blocked by the Dimension Stone. Try the path to the east. Well, we don't have to anymore because we've unlocked that path. So I guess what, we're going back to the town now? I feel like I need bombs. That looks like it's going to be broken by a bomb. As is that one. So, um... I can't remember how we got to the village now. It was a path to the east, wasn't it? All looks a little bit different. All these cacti. Yeah, we definitely need bombs. There's a lot of um it's a dimensional stone there. There's a lot of these um like rocks with cracks on, which to me indicates this is not the path to return to Noria Mines. Let's head south instead. That's what I don't like. That's the sort of thing I don't like in modern games. Granted, I don't think that's to be taken seriously, and I think it's probably a stab at old, uh, modern games that do it, but that's what really grinds my gears about modern games. Life bonus. Monsters will not drop hearts to replenish your to replenish your life. Camera zoom. You look very cool when you get a new item. That's very Ocarina of Time-ish. For sure. See, that's going to get real annoying. Get annoying real fast. Every time I get a chest, it's going to pan into like that. Yeah, I got my first hearts. We got HD textures. Finger grain, finer grained painting. It's so nice. We get through them. We will reach my hometown. I hope everyone's okay there. Please hurry, my hero. Or oh, let's not. I haven't finished exploring. We have more chests to open. Another star. Almost a third of the stars collected as well now already. Madness. We got the three-dimensional world. Achievement unlocked 3D. This is cool looking now. We got mines open. You can explore the Noi Noira mines. It's like they're telling me this way is dangerous. And. <laughs> This door seems locked. We need to find a way to open it. I'm counting on you. Breakable pots. Just what I wanted. Do they all have hearts in them? Another locked door. 
Okay, let's go this way. And up to here. The face on those bats are terrifying. Alright, we unlocked the gate. Red Wizard. Oh. Okay, I don't know how to deal with him yet. Ah, oh, you got trap room. Uh oh, maybe you shouldn't have stepped in here. Maybe I should have done. Classic Legend of Zelda. Right there. We got a key. Guess what it's used for? I couldn't possibly guess. Right, I guess we just got to hack away at some of these guys. But some of these are, uh, uh, some of these enemies don't look fun at all. I can see something under the water here. There must be another mechanism nearby. Yeah, well, I had already seen like the pressure plates. All right, so we just need to hack away at those guys as well. Something happened somewhere again. Maze, left or right? It's always going to be the longest way, isn't it? It's just video game logic. No, I want the heart. Give me the heart. We got a key. All right. Another key. Oh, we can use that key. At the start. You can pretty much guarantee though any time you've got a maze in a game you do have to like explore the majority of it to get through it. Sure. Can be a little frustrating. These like skeleton dudes remind me of the guys from um, the ones from Superland actually. Uh, well, they were kind of skeletons in Superland. So, is there no way to push that? So we got a push pull puzzle. Or are we just pushing? I think we're just pushing these. I mean the whole the whole freaking dungeon's a maze, so the fact that we have to do a maze within a maze is um something. This looks like a massive room, like a boss fight room or something.
How dare you attack me like that. Hi, deaf user interface. Bye bye, lovely square pixels. Welcome, anti aliasing. There was, a, there was a lot of monsters in the previous room. I hope you're not badly hurt. Sorry if I can't help you that much fighting. At least let me heal your wounds. Why, well, thank you. Yeah, that's another, like, very Zelda-esque kind of thing. You got a hole. Great place to get rid of invincible monsters. It's even got the little sound effect and everything. Trap room. So it looks like these guys, as long as you don't hit them head on, you can actually hit them pretty quickly and get rid of them pretty quickly. I wonder there actually, is there a right and wrong? Or does both options just literally... Um, or both options just literally make you fight first? guys are annoying. Supremely annoying. Just gonna have to push the statue and maybe what this is gonna give us. You got a light puzzle. Real adventurers must be strong and smart. Great, I don't get it. <laughs> you wanna tell me what exactly I did there? Oh spike room. We got a key. Guess what it's used for? I think I sort of somehow fluked away through there. You got lava. This one will not turn into obsidian. Again, Minecraft reference. I got a bad feeling about this. Watch your steps. Great. I think, yeah, we got trap. Maze time again. Amazing. Auto fire. Keith success is good timing. There's trap floor traps as well. <laughs> but of course there is. 
Uh oh. It's like a super room. Take a time here. Right, he's dead. Now these dudes that are so annoying. We did it. We did things and stuff. We got the boss door key. Are you ready to fight? No, I am not. I guess that's what that is. In one game we should have to make a difficult way for counter player. Yeah, that was uh, it's, uh, Trapper's Delight Maker. Yeah. Still have nightmares about that to this day. <laughs> so, I have a hunch that the, the big but bad boss person here is a snake of some description. But I may be wrong. We get that chest, I wonder. Maybe I need to like bust through the wall somewhere. Or maybe that's like the reward for beating the boss. Yeah, I got to go through there, that, that'll get me that chest. But I don't know where I get bombs from, so maybe I gotta like re come back to all this afterwards. Talos Star confirmed. I'm sure it's not going to be a cute monster. Something is coming! You shall not pass! Hey, looks like you, Clink. Is it a real foe or just a shadow? Whatever it is, we have no choice but to fight it. Oh great, so now we get to play as... This is like the whole... Normal attacks don't seem to affect him. Oh, thanks. So just gotta wait and rush him when he does that. You gotta hit you gotta hit a wall, I guess. Kinda of reminds me a little bit of the um Dark Link battle in the Ocarina of Time, where you kinda of like fight a darker version of yourself. Toast. He is dead. We beat the boss. The winner is me. What's in the boss chest? The legendary sword! That sure looks like a buster sword from Final Fantasy VII! <laughs> oh boy. I can 
feel fresh air coming from outside. I think we've reached the exit to the Nora Mines. Let's hurry to my village. I hope it's not too late. We've got 3D fights. Hold on until the fourth dimension arrives. Oh, man. We're back to... Um, We've got like victory poses and victory animations now, which is pretty cool. The music's got like that Final Fantasy twinge about it in the battles. Those battles, anyway. I guess I'm. Um, can't go any further. You got pre rendered backgrounds! A new way to display things with much more detail. At last, we're back. I hope everyone is fine. I'm happy the village has not been swallowed by the wastes. Will the power of the crystal be enough to save us? Welcome to Aogi? Aogi? Aogi. Our village was once flourished, now look at it. The mana tree used to protect the whole country. Now something powerful has come to block the Black Citadel. It started corrupting the mana tree to spread the waste. I fear the whole of Aogi will soon be gone. And it will not stop here. I heard some worrying rumours lately. People say that the sacred glove sacred grove, sorry, to the south has been corrupted. It's such a quiet and wonderful place. If that is true, I fear there is no hope left. I can't go in any of these buildings. We have the restless child. Ring around is really tiring. I'd rather play with firecrackers. Card players. Okay, so now we can play cards. And we've got the expensive merchant. We've got a fast DVD player. <laughs> I wonder if that'll like make loading between um, things like quicker. I want to play some cards. This crane is fire, but most powerful ones are well hidden. I'd love to see a complete collection one day. I must keep the spirit high, despite what is happening. I mean, man, if you want to play a friendly game with Double Twin, I've no idea to play, but let's play. Uh, how do we play them? Each cursor has five cards drawn at random from his deck. Players take turns placing cards on the board until it's filled. You can capture your opponent's card if you place an adjacent card with a higher power on the relevant side. The player with the highest number of cards to his colour wins the game. Cards in the hand also count as one point. In case of a draw, the challenging player, you, will lose. Alright, let's give it a go. Sounds very much like Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII. Let's give it a go. Alright, so we can take that with two. So I win his card because my point value there is higher. And then take that back. Right, can I take Five and a five. We could play that there for now. Then it's a stalemate from here, isn't it? 
I guess I'm going to play down the bottom here because I, I want to defend. I want to defend my card at the top. Six is a pretty good number. Yeah. We win! Huzzah! You've won a game of double twin. So yeah, very similar there to... Um, very similar to uh, Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII. That is almost exactly the same. I don't think you get the bonuses though on that one. The ruins of Sar Sarandanuk to the northeast hold many treasures and dangers. You seem like a nice guy, so I'll give you a discount on any bone mending if you go there. Sure. Give me a heal now. And say, thank you. Alright, so that leads out somewhere else. To the northeast. So somewhere to go in the northeast and somewhere to go in the south, I think it was as well. But I'm not finished sort of exploring. I love this song, by the way. This song is very Final Fantasy VIII. It's really good. Airship. Uncle! Is everything fine? Sid. There's always a Sid. Karis! You're finally back home. A lot's happened here and the waste has been spreading faster. Almost half of Algi is already gone. We need to act fast. Uncle, we've got the power of the crystal and, Cla and Claude's blade from the North Mi the Nora Mines. That should be enough to defeat whatever evil lies in the Black Citadel. Oh, and I found Clink here to wield the sword. We're ready to go to the Black Citadel. That's good. But you need the Amulet of Gorn to enter the Citadel. It's been split into part two parts. The first one is in the Sacred Grove. You can find the grove south of here. I said here rather than the town name because it's easier. I went there last week and the cliff near the entrance has collapsed recently. You'll need to need a bomb to clear it. You should talk to Garen, the bald card player in the market. He used to be an officer in the army. Clink, could you go try to find the bomb so we can get into the Sacred Grove? During this time I have to find a way to get stronger. I think I should not rely on you on you protecting me. I'll go home and find something in my father's library. He was a mighty wizard. He knew many powerful spells. I'll join you back later. Go talk to Garen about the bombs. Her mother has strong will too. Good luck. Let's just say, I used to be an avenger like you. I took an arrow in the, let's just say I had trouble sitting for a while. I would help you, but unfortunately I cannot fight anymore. I wish she took an arrow in the butt. Let's talk to Garen. All right, let's go talk to Garen. You've got HD backgrounds. I always remember the Black Cell has always been abandoned. Now Smeagol grows there again, and it did ages, as it did ages ago too. I'm kind of hoping there was going to be a cut through to the market from this side, but uh, obviously not. I listened to BK's news DJ next day and somehow it did not give me superb feelings. I was kind of neutral to it. Um, BK. Didn't BK, uh, didn't he do revolu the re Revolution? Isn't that BK? I was, um, weirdly enough, I was watching through some of my old stuff on YouTube because I, I, I got a flag on one of my old sets on YouTube and I was like... Man, I really need to get the decks out again. Looking for a bomb? I retired from the Demacia army a long time ago, and I did, didn't keep this kind of things. You should talk to our nurse just north of here. 
She knows all the gossip there is to know about here and its people. I just need to go talk to the nurse. So that's probably who healed us before. It's kind of that conversation I was having the other day, though, I guess, about, um, you know, you, you do change from time to time as to what you sort of, your, your musical taste, I guess. You're looking for bombs? You should talk to that old crazy woman who lives near the well. She keeps all sort of weird things in her cellar. Good thing I just received this new bomb to treat major burns. It's like, yeah, gotta go talk to this guy for the bomb. And then, obviously, we have to then talk to everybody else as well. Again, classic sort of RPG kind of throwing uh, wild goose chases. I mean, the game's pretty weird to you, or the like, the feeling of the music is pretty weird to you, Nika. This woman. Bombs, you say? Hmm. Yes, I have some in my cellar. They've been there since war, but I'm almost certain they were still. Would your work just fine? But I'll only give give them to you if you do something for me, of course. You see, a dragon has been attacking the countryside, leaving only charred ground behind it. We need to get rid of that mighty beast. Deputy Raylan was on patrol duty this week. He should be able to tell you more. You'll find him at the entrance to the village. Let's only talk to him and deal with this first. <laughs> it's a classic sort of deviations. Your goal is this, but you must do this first. The dragon? Well, I don't think anyone really saw a dragon, but I did see the marks on the ground. Big round craters of charred earth. I even had to tell that kid to get back to the village. I always see him playing around the craters. You can't let children play near a dragon. You should talk to his mother. She lives in the house next to Sid's. Ah, <sighs> jeez. So then, this must be the woman up here. Talk about long and drawn out quests. They're really sort of like taking the mick here. You don't have to know dragons don't exist, right? The damn kid must have stolen the bombs from the old lady's cellar. I thought those firecrackers were a bit too big and heavy. Tell him to give, tell him to give you the bombs. I just hope they will be safer in your hands. Alright, so now I go to the market and talk to the kid that's running around the well, I guess, right? Sure, I hope so. My mother knows about the bombs? I'm in so much trouble. But it was so fun, it was probably worth it. Can I keep at least one? Clink. I learned a powerful spell. Did you find the bombs? You got bombs. Handle with care. Great. Let's head to the sacred grove south of here. There's no time to waste. All right. So now we can like backtrack a bit, I guess. Now that we have bombs. I don't know how we um I don't know how we use them though. But I wanna go back to the um I wanna go back to the cave if I can, if it'll let me. Yes, okay. Oh, rematch?
I really shouldn't have stepped on the button, but it's a good job this guy isn't like really too much trouble. You finished Nora Mine's boss fight at full health. Hey, look at that, we got an achievement. Achievement dot get. I did a thing. Excavations. Ingest star. You found ten hidden stars. Awesome. So obviously those areas back at the beginning where we can use bombs a bit more on those rocks and different bits and pieces, but we'll we'll deal with that later, I suppose. I'm not gonna go and worry too much about that. I don't even know if we can get back there at this point in time. But we are heading south from the village, which was over here. Uh, here's the rock. Here's the sacred grove. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I walked away too far. Mistakes were made. You've not attached some major connections, some tunes. Doesn't work for you. Yeah, I can, I can relate to that, I think. Sometimes when you want to listen to music, you have to be in the right mood. You have to be in the right mood. So I'm going to switch between past and present. These do not burn small trees. I think the idea there is once we get the bow, we can fire a bow through there and it will set that tree on fire, even though it says not to do it. I think we'll probably do it at some point. You don't want to do that. Oh, we got it. Okay. Uh, uh huh. It's a whole thing about like taking the longest freaking path again, isn't it? Also, that looks mighty suspicious. No, I have to go all the way around again. Man, that sucks. Note to self, don't try and cut corners. I 
Learn to sell, switch back to sword. No! Son of a biscuit. We'll get this chest. celebrate the life of Nock, who sadly passed away while trying to get a chest which he didn't really need to try and get. Jeez. We got the bow! Let's go get out of here. Half a heart left, but it's fine. Oh, we're looking a bit healthier now. We are looking much healthier. Alright, so yeah, like I say, I think what we'll probably do here is... No? Very clever. So we have to kind of do it in the past and then make our way back and then the tree never grows effectively. It's very clever indeed. Really should have got the um, sword out there. Alright, so we've got another one there. Need to light the fire first. I think that's a cracked one, but we'll try and blow it up anyway. Okay, so let's switch the sword. aspect going on to this now, I like it. Very cool. Is that a cracked rock? It is. Now we go back to the past. Back to the future, where the tree won't no will no longer exist. I 
And all that was for stuff. Excellent. You got an annoying sound because we're low on health. Another star. that one on fire first. Not sure how we go about doing that. Oh yeah, we need to like get the fire spreading here. Be able to proceed. We can also go around here though, because that's like a little. Okay, bomb. Right, so now we can shoot this over to here. this side. And then... The bomb here. Switch 12 times between the past and the present. That warrants an achievement. Yeah, it's quite neat actually. It's quite a nice little puzzle. So, uh, we've done that, we've done that. We head back now this way and this one should be lit. That moves the statue out the way. Cool, now we can go down and drop down the gap. Oh, 
Alright. First half of the amulet. We're dead. And I don't know when we last saved. Oh dear. But man, I'm loving this. This is this is great. There's like so much nostalgia value in this. I'm out of drink though. That's not good. Okay, we're just right here. Okay, excellent. I can't use... In these dungeons, I can't use potions or anything, so... Skelly's weakness. to not die now. There is a secret area over here. Star or a card? Star. then. Um, the enemies have repopulated, which is really nice, which means we can get ourselves a bit of health back. Um, now, they did say something about like the second half there. I, mean, I can't remember. Was that the north... I think that was the northeast from the village, wasn't it? I'm sure that's what they said. Baby tree will have now grown up, won't it? Look around you, so many dead trees. The evil has started to corrupt the sacred grove. We need to hurry. Talk to my uncle. We must find the second part of the hour. I'm it before it's too late. talk to her uncle. The 
girl said. Good job on finding the first part of the amulets. Now you must go to the ruins of Sarinduka uh, to get the second half. You'll find the ruins to the north east of the town. Uh, we'll go out past the nurse. Well, I don't necessarily need to. I'm pretty sure at some point they were going to get to uh, fly around in that airship. Try to new magic. She's got new magic, hasn't she? X crystal. Nice. Very nice. Oh, okay. I gotta go out. I have gotta go out through the village because the um, I can't get through like the weeds and things. So. Yeah, I've got to go out this way. Excuse me. Guess is here. The ruins. It's like a... Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I've got combos. Can I have some healing? Oh my goodness, what have we got here? Got a dodge percent. Oh, we got uh, f fire resistance. Well, we're probably going to want the dodge percentage. I think it's all equipped though. Necklace of the Eagle. Got the life bar. This is almost a bit like Minecraft Dungeonsy, to be fair. I mean, light will vary depending on the places you are. of legends and so got a 10% on grinding speed and a 10 plus 10 to backstab damage Stonebreaker, 300% damage to stone and walls. 
Does that mean we can like start <laughs> Enderman farming? Does that mean we can like start smashing some of these things then? Guess not. Entirely sure where I'm going, if I'm honest, but this looks a bit sketchy, doesn't it? Dynamic lighting. Typhoon. Five plus damage against mythological creatures. The Rock's Armband. I mean, like so many abilities here. Turns its user into a dragon. Twelve month cooldown. What? Uh, okay. I'm guessing that's the way we got to go. Looks like the sort of way a um, boss would be. Got the mini map. That's helpful. Turn left at the next corridor. At the next corner, turn left. I don't think these abilities actually do anything. If I'm honest, 5% chance of getting an item you could actually use. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all just, like, joke items. This is where we came from, right? We gotta explore though, right? Even more so now that we got the mini map. to the top, I think. I suppose, like, this segment here is meant to be kind of, like, meant to represent, like, uh, an MMO. To me, though, like I said before, it kind of, to me, it relates to how Minecraft Dungeons plays. I've never really played a, an MMO of such. So... Save again real quick.
When you are in a killing frenzy state of mind, we get multiple kills. Multi kill. What's this? Unreal tournament? M -m 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 Monster kill. Killing spree. <laughs> it's an real tournament. <gasps> oh, jeez. Knee. Was that. Wait. Was that the knee pad of arthritis? <laughs> 10% loot gathering speed. I don't think. I, I can't break the vases, Mika, actually. I did try before. I can't break them. Jeez. Unstoppable. Go on, show it. Show it. Ah, uh, yeah, that was in the other dungeon, though. That doesn't that doesn't carry over to, like, these areas, Mika. That was only, like, those top-down areas was in before. So that doesn't actually carry over, unfortunately. this light grid here. What have we got here? State of Art Solar Powered Helmet grants night vision to its wearer. Three, plus three to chivalry, also great for disco nights. Revives you when 20% HP when you are killed by a unicorn. Yeah, these are all jokes, man. Flame Giant's pinky cover of the pony, don't ask. Tyrannical Gladiator's Grieve. Ten, plus 10 damage versus other players. These pants will also prove your worth. And Boots of Valon Soul. Plus 10 hit and run tactics for when bot the boss is just too strong. stars already. Diamond necklace of shiny bling. You just became the first gangster fantasy hero. like covered everything now haven't we more enemies over here hero relic 0.001% critical hit chance
I love how like rough the uh, minimap drawing is as well. It's like it's been cobbled together really quickly. Given that there's a safe spot here, I think we're going to have a boss real soon. Medal of Honor. Double XP gains just in case. So we got two more. So yeah, we must be getting towards the end. Now, fully equipped, you feel heavy. Sunscreen of the Undead and Creeper Diffuse Kit. Uh, oh, allows you to prevent creepers from exploding if you are quick enough. The master has ordered me to stop you. He will soon rule the world and I will be the chief of its armies. The power of the crystal will not protect you this time. Prepare to die. I think I may have found a little cheaty way here. Easy mode. Boss is dead. You got something happened somewhere. You can't be sure it's the last time. I always gotta always gotta take the cheese strats. Cheese strats are the best strats. But I dare say the big boss door is gone now, and we can go through here and get the final piece of the uh, amulet. The second part of the amulet. One of the two parts of the amulet. We really have to like backtrack now all the way. I guess so. I think what I'm like really liking about this game is like the humor it has. Being an RPG itself, um, but it's like taking so much comedic value from RPGs before it. I kind of find that really, really quite funny. They really took this game in like a very interesting approach. The way that like, they give like you, they're giving you like bits slowly, slowly as you progress as well. And like, you kind of get that old nostalgic feel of some of like the earlier Nintendo RPGs on Game Boys and the Super Nintendo and the NES. I do think it's a, they've done a fantastic job, I'll be honest. Really enjoyed it so far. Um, we're about almost coming up to two hours in. And I was aware, like I said previously, I was aware that like this was um, a relatively short game. The first one. I do believe the second one sort of builds on it even more and it's, it's a lot longer in the second. See, I really, I really like uh, RPG games. I don't, I don't play enough, but they are. I mean, I don't think it's the case with this one, but 
RPG games in general are high um, commitment games. You really have to commit a lot of time and hours to RPGs because they take so long to actually play through themselves. So I tend not to stream them unless I really want to play it. I would love to do I, I would love to do like full playthroughs of more of the Final Fantasy games on stream, but I just don't feel like I could do many of them because obviously I'm I have like a restricted streaming schedule myself. So it would take up so much of my stream time and I won't be able to do necessarily do other things. So oh my god, it's a giant tall. Yeah, if I had all the time in the world, I would play a lot more RPGs, for sure. It's Mario Buddies. What I like about role RPGs is that a lot of the time you have to like really think about how to defeat certain enemies. It's not always clear cut. It's like how to proceed. So this is you. You are the evil that's been ravaging my hometown. I don't think I should be here just yet. Just call me... Zephyrus, you've come a long way to find me, but all of your efforts are in vain. Your ridiculous power is nothing compared to mine, and I'll prove it to you right now. Yeah, I don't know if I was meant to come and, come and do this bit just yet. I just saw a tower and I was like, oh yeah, let's go to the tower. The hills are not great. They still have like magic power though, that we have to be wary of. I feel like I am like massively on the level though. I'm not doing a lot of damage at all really, am I? Either. If we keep healing, I think we're careless. Then, when the heals are in a good place, we'll use the X crystal. Tactics, you, you had to know character abilities and upgrade characters to win battles. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like the sort of premise of a, an RPG, to be fair, Mika. That's enough. I'm tired of playing with you. 
Amém! Amém! Ha! Oh, wow. He's one shot me. We will not surrender. We will fight you until we die. I think we just died, to be fair. So be it. Um, what about... Karis! Thank you. You were always there for me. Always there to protect me. Always there to fight with me. Please promise you will fight on. Please give us back our green land. I'll be watching over you. It's not developing it. Oh, that's a shame. I... No, she's dead. Maybe you can't win that fight. The special power is awoken. Son of Dragon. Oh, it's got to be Babamut. What's going on, Megas? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. <laughs> it's clearly Bahumat. It's Mega Flare from Final Fantasy VII. You think you've beaten me? I'll head back to the mana tree. And when my wounds are healed, I'll destroy this world you like so much. Got to 100% it. Eh, I don't know if I'll go that far. 2,000 gills, glees, and 50 XP. And we're level 6, defense has increased. Okay, I think we're done here then. So let's back to the village. We've got a world map. I didn't realise we've got a world map. That's new. We had that before, did we? Yeah, I've I've been told that the first one is not a particularly long game, to be fair. So I wasn't expecting like a massive playthrough of this. We get the fast DVD player. Is that like um, is the fast DVD player sort of like faster loading time between the screens? Yeah, you won't regret this. There's some proper loading times there. Yeah, I kind of, I, we're not too far off two hours to be fair, but kind of like the the rate we've been going through and like the stars and things we've been getting, I kind of feel like, you know, we're a good chunk of the way through the game already. Karis may not be of this world anymore, but I can still feel her presence. I know she's with Clink, her power will stay with him forever. Can't believe Karis is dead. This is a very sad day in history. This is not in vain though. She gave her power to Kling so that he can save the world. Now you're our only hope to defeat Zephyros. It's, uh, I just realized that sounds very similar to Sephiroth, doesn't it? With the power of Karis, you will be strong enough. I believe in you. Can I have the airship now? We all believe in you. Come and see me when you have some time. I might be able to help. We're all doomed. There's some hope for you right there. So, most of us believe in you. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's good enough. I believe Karis did not die in vain. Clink, you must go to the Mana Tree and defeat Zephyros once and for all. I'll give you my airship. It's the only way to reach the Mana Tree. The fate of the world is now in your hands, Clink. Fight of walking... Everland welcomes you on board. I 
Don't forget, we need the airship. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Big yellow birds. Northwest, maybe she's he's selling some nice items. Interesting. Pretty sure car is hidden in the shrine of Babamut. Crystal caves. I wonder if that's actually like telling us that. I wonder if he's telling us like the actual things. Grove, of course, is. Let's not mess around. Let's just call the big, big guy in. I love the fact that they they um, just downright copied Bahamut from Final Fantasy VII. Ah, uh, no, I couldn't land on the brown things, Mika. I guess this is the mana tree, right? Secrets? None. All right, showdown. Zephyrus, stop hiding. Show yourself. I was waiting for you. Oh, my God, he's taking a form. You finally came. Let me tell you a story. A long time ago, my people were ruling this land, but they were attacked and killed for their horns. I am the only survivor, and I'll take my revenge today. You will share the same fate as the girl. The mana tree will be your graveyard. hands I guess about dead game over Oh man, how do I, like, not take so much damage here? We need to think about this. I have to go through this every time. Yes, I do.
I think we worked out the strap. Alright, just gotta take a time. Use like the sound cues, I think, to actually like work out when he's going to start and stop. Oh, good. And how many hits is he going to take? Oh, we're almost dead. Okay, well, we're getting there, but we just need to sort of work out a little bit how we can take a little bit less damage here. Worked out how to like properly manipulate him on this bit though. No, I can't select the bow maker. It's literally. Um, sword only in this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. That's what I was missing. All right, well, we got this. We need to try and save as much health in the first phase of the fight as we can. Because it looks like it's very easy to get trapped in the second phase of the fight.
All right, first phase done. Three, four, five. Two, three, four. It's four. One, two, three, four. It was five though that time. As the fifth one's about to sound is when he stops. One, two, three, four. You may have broken my stone armor, but in this shape you cannot hit me anymore. I'll burn every part of you. Alright, so the blue one. Yeah, we can hit the blue ones back. like the freaking Ganondorf fight on Ocarina of Time. During all these centuries, I have witnessed too many amazing things. All these moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time for me to join my people. Does that mean he's dead? I think he's dead. We did it! You have defeated Zephyros. We are the hero. There we go. That is crazy. Like I said, I really enjoyed that. The whole concept and the idea of like going through the different stages of like RPGs and like how games have developed over time and putting that into a game that you can play, I've thoroughly enjoyed. I love like the whole like switching between the different like RPG styles and um I love like all the references as well. The, the references to all the different RPGs were just fantastic to put all that in there. And I'm really looking forward to what um, Evo Land 2 is going to have um, sort of like to build on that. Because I'm sure it's only going to be even more of that with even more references and um, even more sort of like Mickey takes of um, some of those big name franchises. Um, I think though tomorrow we're not going to dive into Everland 2. We will come back to Everland and we'll just sort of uh, there we go. Truly inspired by Legends of Final Fantasy, Dungeon Quest, Diablo, and many others. Um, tomorrow night we will come back to Everland One and we will just you know spend a little bit more time on it because um, we've only spent uh, about two hours and fifteen minutes playing this and we've completed eighty four point two percent of the game. So. You know, we've got about another 15.8% to find. So tomorrow night we'll just sort of like, we'll play on with this game and um, see if we can't just sort of like tidy up some bits and pieces and um, yeah, get it to 100%, which um, I think will be pretty cool. It'll be a pretty bit more of a, a chilled stream tomorrow night. But uh, guys, thank you very much though, everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate your support as always. And until the next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome, stay safe, and happy gaming.